I want to talk about something that may be really educational for you. Very educational. I was speaking to this particular person last night and this person, yes, I am not going to tell you who this person is. And this person was telling me some things, you know, and all of a sudden, so much information came to my mind, as in, like, I know why you are going through these things. And let me say this, when you live for God, and if so much information, like, information to solve a person's problems if that randomly comes to your mind i believe that is the holy spirit placing thoughts into your mind it is not you it is not your intellect i believe that it is the holy spirit so you can't boast and say how smart you are because it is not you <laughs> so anyways so I started to tell this person the things that he needed to hear. So let me say this. You may say to me, hey, Kevin, I am struggling with thoughts about my past, my past problems, or things that I endured back when I was a child or back in the past. And how can I change my thoughts? I can't stop thinking about these bad things. What is going on? So, let me ask you this. Since you say that you can't change your thoughts or you can't stop thinking about those negative things, let me ask you this. Or... <laughs> So, you are saying that you can't change your thoughts. So, let me say this. And I am not trying to be gross. I am not trying to offend anyone. But I have to say this so that you can really understand this. So, you say that you can't change your thoughts. What if, as you may already know, random thoughts comes to your mind. You should know that demons place things into your mind. So let me say this. So since you say that you can't change your thoughts, what if a pedophile-like thought comes to your mind? Like a thought of you doing gross things to kids. If that comes to your mind, what are you going to do? you are going to quickly get rid of of that thought right yes so if you can get rid of that thought that means that you can change your thoughts unless you are that type of way where you like kids and stuff like that but if you are not that way if a thought like that comes to your mind you are going to quickly get rid of that thought so that means you can change your thoughts so why can't you change your thoughts now okay nine times out of ten let me say this I believe that you are in unforgiveness unforgiveness you say that you may have forgiven your mother or your father, your cousin, your uncle, your nephew, so on and so on. You may say that you have forgiven those people, but, or those people or more, but you really have not. Why? Because you are still holding on to the past. Usually when people hold on to the past they have not forgiven those enemies and usually if you are in unforgiveness 
there is some type of anger attached to that as well. Some type of pent up anger. So the issue is not that you can't stop thinking about those thoughts because they were traumatizing or whatever else. The issue is you have not forgiven your enemies. You still have that pent up anger. So what shall you do? Forgive your enemies. But Kevin, what happened to me was extremely traumatizing. What they did, they did something someone should never do. I understand that. But you must understand, if you don't forgive your enemies, God is not going to forgive you. So you can say that you are this good person, but how can you be good when you are not following God's rules? God wants us to forgive. So if you are not forgiven, if you are not forgiving your enemies, you are not good, as you may say. You are not good. Well, Kevin, you know, I don't do the major sins. You know, I don't kill anyone. I don't... Uh, do all of this crazy stuff. Hey, God cares about the large sins as much as the small sins. Does that make any sense? God wants you to obey everything, not the things that you may say are very large or small, because who are we to say that something is small or large? So you have to forgive your enemies. This is the reason why you are so traumatized or you may get the shakes or you may get these headaches and be in extreme anger or cry every day. You are still holding on to those issues. I pray that makes sense. You can't get over it because you have not forgiven those enemies. That's your issue. Forgiveness, not what the person did, because people are always going to do evil toward you. Like me. <laughs> like, I am not surprised when bad things happen to me. <laughs> it is like, okay, you know. <laughs> That's the way that you have to take it. Not, you know, when someone hurts you, be like, oh, you know, uh, why you hurt me for, you know, and be down for weeks and months and stuff like that. No. Someone is always going to backstab you. Always. So are you going to get down every single time when a person does you wrong? Are you going to continue to get down about something that happened to you back when you was a child or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Get over it. Like myself, man, I could be down every single day, but I choose to not think about those issues that happened to me. I forgive everyone. I forgive everyone because I want to be forgiven and I did bad things too. So how can I hold on to some things people have done to me while I did so much evil to people? That, that would be weird, right? Like how can I say you are a bad person but I did so much dirt as well? Think about that. That would be very hypocritical, right? I would think so. Like I am pointing the finger at you, but I may have done or done some other bad things as well. Really think about that. So in order, man, ah, oh, When you don't forgive people, you are placing a weight on you. That is the reason why you are having so many mental issues. That is why you are depressed 
all the time. This is why you are crying all the time. This is the reason why you are angry all the time. When you hold on to stuff, that is going to make you feel worse. So you can't blame the way that you are feeling now on those people that did you wrong. Because you, you have a choice to let go of it or to keep on holding it. No one is telling you, hey, I want you to hold on to all of that pain. Don't release any of that pain there. I want you to hold on to it all. Don't let go. Is anyone telling you that? No. So you can't blame a person because you feel the way that you feel now. You have to get over it. But Kevin, man, only if you knew <laughs> the stuff that I went through. But Kevin, <laughs> You have to forgive. When you don't forgive, curses are being placed on you. I don't know how many times I have told people this, but they still continue to try to do things in their own way as if like things are going to change when they continue to hold on to that past pain. I pray that this makes sense. Me, there was a time where I was depressed like every day where, to be honest, I did not think that it was possible to ever be happy. I never thought it. I thought that, you know, the way that you feel now is the way that you are always going to feel. That's what I thought. I did not know what happiness really was at that time period. But when I started to move on, when I started to repent of my sins, when I started to forgive people, I started to get happy. That weight that was on me came off. So you are placing more weight on you than what you were able to carry. This is why you are going crazy. This is why you are not feeling well. But you are still pointing your finger at your enemies. I would not be this way if it was not for him or her or this person or that person. No. The way that you are feeling now is because of you. Like I said, are you going to get down every time when a person does something wrong to you? That would be silly. Because as long as we live on this cursed world, someone is always going to do us wrong. Well, in that case, Kevin, I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever then, right? <laughs> God bless.